In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use the Windows File dialog in tkinter. Hello humans, I'm Kyle and welcome to Code for Humans, the channel dedicated to leveling up your coding skills. So to get started, what is a Windows File dialog? Well, I'll just show you. If we hit File Open on pretty much any piece of software, we get this little window to appear, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is a file dialog because it allows us to select a file from somewhere on our computer and hit open. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to implement this into your own tkinter projects. To get started, let's first, let's make an entry field. So what I'm going to do is have an entry field and a button next to it. When you click that button, a file dialog will appear and you'll be able to select a file. Once you've done so, the path for that file will be stored in the entry field. So to get started, I'll say text path. This will be the entry field that eventually stores the path. And it's just gonna be an entry field like we've already covered. Uh, the only thing special here is I'm gonna make the width uh, 200. I just want it to be pretty big. That way we can see the full, the full path. So I'll pack that like always, and then I'll make my button called get path. So this is going to be the button we press when we want to open the file dialog. So this is going on the root GUI. The text will be select file. And then the command, the command is gonna be a little complicated. So as you might remember from the second tutorial, we have to use the Lambda function when we're using a function that needs a parameter or needs some type of argument given to it. So I'll say the command is Lambda set path. So set path is gonna take one argument and this is going to be the entry field that we're gonna store the path in. So that's going to be text path, the entry field we just made. I'll make this set path function in just a minute, but first I'm going to pack my button. Okay, so now I'll go up and I'll create my function. I'll say def set path. And this is going to take some type of entry field as a parameter. So from here, what we're going to do is say the path, the selected path is going to be file dialog dot ask open file name, typed exactly like this. So here's one weird thing. So we need to get this, we need to get file dialog from tkinter, but if we say tkinter dot file dialog, it doesn't work. Because of how tkinter is structured, we have to explicitly import file dialog. And the way we do that is we say from tkinter import file dialog. So again, we have to do it in this way. Um, not entirely sure why. Again, it's because tkinter is so old and has been changed so many times. There's just these weird things that we have to deal with as a consequence to that. But we know the workaround so we can continue. I'll say the entry field, whatever entry that we pass to this function, uh, the first thing we want to do is delete everything that's currently in there. If there's already a file path within my entry field, I want to delete it and then insert the new one that came from my file dialog. So the way we do that is we say delete starting at index zero and go until the end of the entry field. So just like with text areas, we have to do some special stuff. We have to say start at a specific index and then end at a specific index and delete everything in between. We can say start at zero and we can use tkinter.end. And again, this is just some dynamic attribute and it changes every time our entry field gets some more text in it. So when entry field has more text, tkinter.end grows. When it has less text, tkinter.end shrinks. Uh, basically the important thing here is that we just say tkinter.end and that'll handle everything for us. Now to insert information, we say entry field dot insert. And I want to insert at the beginning of my entry field. So at zero and the thing I want to insert is the path. And that's all, that's all we need to do. So I'll run this and we can see what we've made. I'll pull it over here. We can see my label, my entry field and my button. And just as a test, I'm going to say this should get deleted. When we hit select file and pick a path, this text should get deleted. So I'll hit select file, and now I can see I'm in one of the folders on my hard drive. So I'll just select a random, a random file, I'll say file one. And now what I had there has been deleted, and now the new path has been inserted. 
So if I hit select file again, you can see that file one has a path of D file sys temp, and I see D file sys temp file one. So everything is working just as it should be. But that's it for this video. As always, a big thank you for liking, subscribing, and ringing that bell. Comment below with suggestions for future videos, and I will see you in the next one.